Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, LaRon Willis, back here in the video. This is requested by a subscriber. I never heard of this guy named um, Penguin, but I know Sneeko and my thoughts on Sneeko. I don't know. I'm not a fan of him anymore. I used to be a fan of him way even before, but not anymore, right now. But we're going to just get into the reaction. The controversy between Sneeko and Penguin Zero has recently been taken to another level of crazy, as Sneeko has resulted to threatening Charlie's life. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be looking into the horrible situation between Penguin Zero, aka Moist Critical, aka Charlie, and ex-YouTuber Sneeko. On the 14th of March, I would publish a video titled, How Penguin Zero Destroyed Sneeko, where throughout the video, I would discuss the historical beef between the two. The main points Charlie had against Sneeko was the fact that he is a cuck, tried to drag his girlfriend into the drama, and also defended the movie Cuties. But after Charlie was unanimously crowned the winner by the internet, it was expected that things would stop here. But things would take an extreme turn for the worse, as Sneeko would step things up by literally threatening Charlie's life. Following the upload of my video, Sneeko would tweet out this. Soy keyboard warrior Moist Critical. We all knew that he wouldn't accept a fight. Lil Bro is a 5'3 pasty gaming manlet. Have some empathy. What matters is- Uh, I actually watched a video about Penguin because I want to do my research on who this Penguin guy is. But there's a video that popped up of uh, him responding to Sneeko and he said he's 5'6 and that Sneeko wanted to fight him. But- you know, he prefer not to because Sneakers like five, you know, Sneakers like six, four, but Sneaker wanted to fight him, but wouldn't fight this other guy. I don't know if he's going to say that in this in this video, but let's just see what he's going to say. It's how the most influential commentators have no specific beliefs. They never get cancelled. They just talk. Why do you listen? And whilst Charlie wouldn't respond to this tweet directly, within hours, he would post a video titled Sneaker is Horrible. Dang, he got... 2.7 million. I mean, that's how I saw he had like 6 million. I think I saw clips of him having a gun in the video because cause, um, Sneakle pulled out two clips. You know, I saw a clip, pun intended, <laughs> of the video of him doing that. And I think in this video, he actually held two guns and showed them just magazines and not actually clips. Like, these are magazines, is what he was saying. I guess it's just a little uh, beef between the two. Let's get back to the video. Yet another video absolutely demolishing what ego and reputation Sneaker had remaining. Throughout the video, Charlie would once again not hold back. The video would start off with a bang by addressing how fragile Sneeko is, and the fact that he hasn't been able to stop talking about Charlie ever since they first interacted three months prior. That you have not stopped whining since. It's already been three months, can you believe that? How time flies. You started shit with me by insulting me and my girlfriend out of nowhere, so naturally I responded by making fun of you in return and showcasing the reasons why I don't respect you. But unfortunately I failed to calculate just how much of a sensitive fucking loser you are because this hurt your feelings to such a high degree it's become like an Armageddon in your brain. Three months you have continued to melt down about. But here is where things would take a violent twist, as Charlie would reveal a clip from Sneeko's stream, where he was waving and dancing with a gun, threatening not only Charlie, but everyone else who had previously criticized him in the past. The day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing, and then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them, saying like, oh, you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Welcome cucks, that kind of shit. And it got really under his skin in a big way, so he started dancing around with the gun and thr- His followers are mainly kids, and, um, I think you have a right to have a gun, I'll say. You know, Second Amendment. But to show these to kids, because his followers are mainly kids, you know, that's not right. Because, you know, he's waving it. You know, he's doing what rappers would do on... He, this is what rappers would do in their rap videos. Now he's doing it on a streaming platform where he got thousands of, of concurrent streamers or viewers watching him. You know, watching him just talk and react to, to videos. 
and talk about people. Threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you. Waving his gun around and dancing. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You wanna wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were. But this is where Sneaker would make an embarrassing mistake and where Charlie would take grip of the situation and give Sneaker a lesson in gun anatomy. And I'm sorry to be that guy, this is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips, you look fucking stupid here. Anyway, sorry for the gun anatomy lesson. He was very upset, so he was threatening to come shoot me, beat me up, all of that, because I hurt his feelings, and it's been festering for quite some time now. As everyone thought things couldn't get worse for Sneeko, they would. As Charlie would also bring up the fact that Sneeko was relying on his Discord server to come up with arguments on his behalf. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not witty enough to come up with anything on your own. You have no ability to banter. You can't insult anyone. Anytime you're pushed, all you fall back on is one- Alright, he does say- you know, bot a lot. Uh, I just know he say bot a lot. I don't know the other three he's gonna say. He's gonna One say of three, three things: soy boy, bot, or NPC. And that yeah, NPC is a big one. Sneeko does say, and I think a lot of people do say NPCs, but he does say NPC a lot. I, don't, I, I bet this video they're gonna do. I, this is my first time seeing it. I, I, this my lawyer, my one of my subscribers sent me this video. Yeah, I never seen this video before, so I think he's gonna show those three things. I hope he does. If he does, he doesn't, but I think he's gonna show it. That's it, you never deviate from this path, which is ironic, because you're like literally a sheep. You have three programmed responses. You're like the absolute worst character, side character in an MMO. Later in Charlie's response, he would once again bring up Sneaker's life as a cuck. Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect him is because he battles with his own sexuality. He is very public about how he used to go to these swinger parties, I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks, where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men. Even telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man, moaning intensely, and it, it was traumatizing. Yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason. So my point with this was, why is this the guy that's lecturing everyone on their relationships, shitting on people's relationships, when he himself is in one that makes him very upset and he can't come to terms with it? Now, if he's open about being a cuck and happy and proud to be a cuck, that's fine. But he's not. It makes him mad every single time. So why the fuck is this insecure guy the one that's the moral authority on healthy relationships all of a sudden. It wouldn't be until later in the video that Charlie would finally discuss the Twitter feud that he had with Sneeko two days prior, in a hilarious clip stating, Fast forward to two days ago. I was streaming a Moist Esports tournament, and I went up to go to the bathroom. I had to take a shit. It was a double flusher, so I was on the toilet for quite some time, and I saw a Sneeko post that he's posted quite a few times now, and I thought, you know what? Fuck it. Not doing anything else right now on the porcelain throne, I'll play in the pig pen. So I did. For three months now, Sneeko has had this adorable little collage that he made that looks like it's straight out of a 16 year old girl's diary with pictures of boys from her class that she doesn't like. All about people that have hurt his feelings. This is his wall of shame for people that have insulted him online. I think I did see this video that he's talk talking about right now, and I think he is going to say that there's I think, two guys that offered to fight him because Sneeko wanted to fight Penguin, but you know Penguin doesn't want to do that for battling pers people on um, debating in points, but there's no point in which Sneeko's uh, bringing up about Penguin besides him and its girlfriend. I think he is where this all started, but. There's nothing to refute on that, so I'll just go back to it. What's even sadder about it is he purposely leaves out people that he's afraid of. So, Turkey Tom, for example, made a whole video talking about Sneeko and how pathetic he is. And 
Sneeko tried to talk a big game to challenge him to a debate, which Turkey Tom accepted with jubilation. He was ecstatic. And then Sneeko kept ducking him, ghosting him. So he leaves Turkey Tom off of this list because he's afraid to actually talk to him. And he also leaves off quite a few other people, but the most notable other one that is comical for the absence is Brandon Buckingham. Brandon Buckingham is an internet content creator that Sneeko lied about for a long time and they had a lot of beef. And Brandon Buckingham actually challenged them to a fight. And Sneeko is very fearful of him. Now, I will say it again. What I did and what I am doing right now is not canceling you, Sneeko. I am insulting you. I am making fun of you. Something that you were supposed to be a huge proponent of, right? Wasn't like one of your big things like bullying needs to be brought back. So now that I'm making fun of you, what all of a sudden now it's now it's off limits, now it's canceling? You, you have become the SJWs that you criticize so much. I don't know how you don't realize that. Charlie would also destroy Sneeko by addressing the fact that Sneeko constantly resorts to wanting to fight whenever he is insulted online, further proving that he has no genuine comebacks or defenses for what people say about him. I think this is important to talk about, and I just talked about it recently. When you are getting your feelings hurt and your immediate response isn't to fire back with insults, jokes, whatever, it's to challenge someone to a fight, you've taken a huge L. You've shown that the person has got under your skin, and the only thing you can resort to is a caveman brain of, I'll beat you in a fight. Sneeko, you beating me in a fight doesn't unfuck your girlfriend from the numerous men that had sex with her in front of you. It doesn't do anything. Everything I've said still stands. Nothing changes. It doesn't even salvage your ego. All it is is a pathetic fucking attempt at attention. And I don't think you believe half the things you talk about. I really think Sneeko just panders as much as possible. He himself doesn't even stand by the things he talks about. I really don't think he has any beliefs of his own. He just echoes what he thinks is going to get him the biggest audience slash the most money. He would also state that Sneeko was just attention seeking, as YouTuber Branding Buckingham offered to fight Sneeko, but Sneeko would instead ignore and try to avoid it. This puffing out his chest of challenging me to a fight is clearly attention. That's what it- I didn't realize how many, uh, subscribers this guy got. You think he got 12 million subscribers. It will make sense if Sneakle's doing this just for, uh, you know, the following, I would say, and to be able to grab attention by going up. But if you think about it, he has 12 million. He's probably never going to adjust his after this again, because he's just giving Sneeko free- attention if you, you'll say because this it was a 10 minute video of him talking about sneaker the whole time feels like because you don't have the same energy for brandon buckingham brandon buckingham is more than willing to fight you any day of the week but with him you don't want to do that for some reason why do you not stand by your beliefs when it comes to brandon buckingham he has said all the same things about you that i am saying about you so why is he exempt hmm? why don't you want to fight him that's so weird this is what you said about Brandon Buckingham and fighting him. And then finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar sizes. Sneeko would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just, I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for Brandon, Brandon Buckingham, you know, if I lose the fight. So now it's suddenly cool to just stay at home and keep it all online. Later in the video, Charlie would state that he doesn't want to fight Sneeko, while simultaneously roasting Sneeko's physique. I've also been super vocal about how I don't I was want an extra to in the fight. Hunt. Like, I I'm not afraid to say, like, I don't want to get hit in the head, right? Like, I'm afraid of <laughs> taking headshots. It's probably a super normal fear to have, so I'm averse to going into a boxing match, especially one that's just a clout-driven spectacle like this. That'd be completely fucking worthless. And I've been super open about it. Yeah, I'll say, um, Sneeko... Sneeko's strategy is, um, I would say, to this extent, Sneeko only had a million. This guy has 2 million, 12 million. Let me pull it up real fast. Boom. You had 12 million. 12 million. That's that's a lot. And Sneakle had uh, about a million before he got banned. <laughs> about that, which I'm sure you know since you keep saying that you've watched my content, so you probably know that I was never going to accept the fight in the first place. Especially since you're like significantly taller than me, right? Like it does it does it wouldn't make any sense. And even though you would probably beat me in a fight, you're certainly not beating me in like an aesthetic physique competition because goddamn, I blow your ass out of the water. Look at this fucking anime character physique I'm rocking. Meanwhile, you're over here with that Abercrombie and Fitch from 1998.
The video would go completely viral, gaining almost 2 million views within just 5 hours. And whilst Charlie would be extremely harsh on Sneeko, the video would be received well by the audience, with comments stating, Watching Charlie demolish Sneeko was truly the moment of all time, and he seemed like such a down-to-earth, respectful, and thoughtful person in his old content. I guess watching his girlfriend enjoy another man's pipe really broke his brain. It's unfortunate that this situation mm. had to result in threats of violence and hostility, but it's safe to say that this is on Sneeko's end of things, as Charlie has not once threatened Sneeko in this whole situation. And if you're wondering how Charlie became so popular to begin with... That was a good video. I liked it. Uh, shout out to the subscriber that sent me this. My thoughts on this whole thing is... It's, it's good marketing for Sneeko to actually talk about Penguin and then maybe throws off. But he's taking YouTube people to what you call it a uh, rumble when you think that it's best to go for people that's on rumble and go for them instead of people on youtube but it's all it all works the same you know those youtube people go to rumble and subscribe to sneeko what's your thoughts between uh sneeko and penguin i would say this ain't that bad of a beef where it's like groundbreaking, but it's a it's a big deal. It's a big deal. That'll be all. It was a good video. Like, comment, subscribe. Been your boy LeRon. Give this video 10 likes. 10 likes again. Alright? Subscribe if you made it up to this point. So I really appreciate y'all for watching my videos. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.